Hi, welcome to my channel, As the Tea Brews. I'm Stacy, and um, today I wanted to just talk about one of the new teas coming out. I believe it's coming out next week, um, and it's called Zest Wishes. And of course, there's going to be other teas coming out for the holidays. Um, but this is a new tea to David's Tea, I believe, and it's a cinnamon and orange zest tea, and it's an oolong. And um, I also wanted to just show you how I brew my tea. Uh, a lot of you are, are, are already familiar with the David's Tea Nordic mugs, um, or the Perfect mugs. They have a little bit smaller size. And this is a new one that I got. It was on clearance, and there was a discount code a few weeks ago, and so I ended up getting it for only about $12. New, the Nordic mugs are usually about $24, but I liked this one because it was clear, and I've been eyeing it, and so I, I finally, got my hands on it. Um, but what you do, what it is, it's a mug and it comes with a infuser and you put your tea inside and then you pour in your water and you put the lid on to keep all the heat and the aromas in there. And then um, when it's time to take your tea out, the lid becomes a little coaster and you put your strainer on there and then you can enjoy your tea. So um, I'm just going to brew my tea really quickly and then uh, and I'll show you how I do that. Uh, I The sample that I have of Zest Wish Wishes is, um, it, they're usually a little bit on the small side, not necessarily an overflowing. I'm gonna see how much is in the sample. Oh, it's a full, it's a full um, perfect spoon. I know a lot of people like to do more than one perfect spoon. I find for most teas, one of these perfect spoonfuls is enough. Um, if I'm making a latte, I'll use two or more, um, but usually one perfect spoonful or overflowing perfect spoonful is the right amount. So um, I'm gonna try and show you this tea before I dump it into my filter. Okay, so here you can see the tea kind of close up. The ingredients in Zest Wishes are cinnamon, orange peel, oolong tea, apple, cardamom, natural orange, and cinnamon flavoring. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna put my tea in here. And this sample didn't have any uh, cardamom pods. Like, I, this is my second sample. I've already had a mug of this, and um, my first one had a big piece of cardamom in there. This one doesn't have any, so I'm not sure if I'll get that flavor or not. Um, but this tea actually, it's an oolong, and oolongs you usually brew at 190 degrees, and this one, says to brew it at 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I have my um, kettle which has different temperatures on there so I can brew it to just the right, heat my water to just the right temperature. And I just fill it up. And I love this mug because you can see the, the color of the tea as it steeps. So I'll put my lid on there and then um, I'm gonna set a timer. This one says four to five minutes. So I'll go ahead and do five minutes. When I open this tea, the first thing I smell is the orange. It's very, very orangey. So it's that orange peel and the natural orange flavoring. Um, I don't get a lot of the cinnamon or cardamom or anything else in the dry, smelling the dry tea. So, we will be back as soon as my tea is done brewing and um, we'll see how it tastes. Okay, so it's been a um, little over four minutes and the first time I had this, I brewed it for just four minutes. So that's why I chose to um, do five minutes this time just to see if it was a little bit different. Uh, I Today is Halloween, if you can't tell. I've got my candy corn um, scarf and I've got my pumpkin earrings which flash. We had a Halloween parade this morning at the kids school and then uh, I helped with Ellie's party and then I'm leaving in about half an hour to go to Abby's party so I'll have to drink my tea quickly. Um, okay so we are at five minutes and I'm just going to take off the lid. Oh there is a cardamom pod pot in here. I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. So the tea is plumped up and so have the little pieces of orange peel and uh, apple I think it said was in here. 
It's always kind of fun to see what happens with the, the tea after it's been brewed. Oolong leaves especially will unravel and open up and get so big, it's amazing. Okay, so the tea is a nice orange color. Uh, it's kind of a light orange and there's a little bit of sediment in there, probably cinnamon. Cinnamon is quite fine when it's ground up and it smells very orangey. Uh, it smells a little bit, you know how when you, um, have you ever simmered like a pot of oranges with cloves and cinnamon on the stove? It kind of smells like, like that. And to me, this is a, it's a holiday smell. I smell a little bit of the cinnamon, but it's very heavy orange. Orange and cinnamon is what I smell. Okay, so since it was only at 175, it's probably okay for me to sip it and not burn myself. Usually I'll let my tea cool down a little bit. So it's very nice and light and orange. You get a little bit of that cinnamon, um, not really burn, but kind of, you know, the cinnamon spice sensation um, in your mouth. Hmm. I really like this tea. I liked it the first time I had it. I think that steeping it an extra minute might have brought out the cinnamon a little bit more, either that or I had a little bit more of the spice in this sample than I did the other sample. It's not an in-your-face cinnamon, in my opinion, but I also love cinnamon, so, so if you don't like cinnamon, you might not like this. Um, I think that the orange flavor is predominant here. I think it's a lot stronger than anything else. I really don't taste the oolong tea. Um, I have recently bought a few oolongs over the last few months, and um, I'm not, I'm a little bit undecided about the oolongs. If I don't, if they don't taste especially oolong to me, then I like them. Um, but if they taste very strong like oolong, I'm usually not a fan. And um, I don't taste any of that oolong in here. This just tastes like a nice cinnamon, um, I'm sorry, a nice orange with a little bit of cinnamon tea to me. And that's exactly how they describe it on the package. These new little, I don't know if the samples before had the description. Um, I feel like they did, but they've changed the packaging a little bit and it just says cinnamon and orange zest. That's all it says on there, which is why I guess it's called Zest Wishes because of the orange zest. But um, this is very nice. I, um, I do like this one. I think I'm gonna be ordering some of this uh, when all of the rest of the holiday teas come out because this is one that I would really enjoy sipping on. The only thing I don't like is that it is a oolong, so it does have some caffeine. It does say low caffeine in it, so, um, but I still don't like to have any caffeine after maybe two in the afternoon, just because a lot of times it'll keep me from sleeping. Uh, I know a lot of people, the caffeine doesn't bother them at all, um, but for me it does. And so that's the only downfall I see to this tea, because this is one that I would really enjoy at nighttime. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Zest Wishes, if you got a sample of this ahead of time before it's been released, have you tried it? Do you like it? What do you think? Uh, do you like orange teas? Let me know in the comments below and have a great day. We'll see you next time.